Hi, this is Yannick, Platform Engineering Lead at Hashnode. Today I want to give you a quick demo of a brand new feature at Hashnode, Webhooks. With Webhooks, possibilities are endless. You can create any integration. You can trigger a GitHub action, use it to rebuild your static block, or integrate with Zapier, build your own backups, or whatever. Possibilities are endless. Let's get started with a quick demo. For that, I've created my little application here based on the official Hashnode starter kit. I've used the personal theme for that, but for now there's only one post in my demo block. And since we are using Next.js ISR feature here, um, the page is only revalidated after one day. So for every request within one day, the page will show the same content, if not revalidated manually via API. And only after that, the first request will be serving the stale data and triggering a revalidation. But with webhooks, you can basically increase this revalidation time for a longer period, like one day in this example, because you can trigger revalidation with the help of our webhooks. So jumping back to the Hashno dashboard, you can create a webhook here in the dashboard under webhooks, add new webhook. And then you can type in any URL here. So I have created a revalidation URL under slash API slash revalidate. Then you can trigger a, a post request to this URL based on these three events for now. In the future, we are planning to add more events. Let us know which events you would like to see. So for now, let's select all of them. Then there's also a secret. I can show it to you, we can it afterwards anyways. You can use this secret to verify that the request to this URL is actually from Hashnode. To learn more about it, you can click on learn how it works and there's some example code on how to actually validate that this signing the signature is valid. So for now, let's go ahead and create this webhook. So as you can see here, the webhook is created. There hasn't been any request yet. And now let's get started and create a second post. And publish it. Nice. So now we should see in the history of the webhooks that we have just sent a post published event. Here you can see the headers of the response and the response body. Also some information about the request like the URL, the headers and the body as well. So in the body we are sending some IDs relevant data and you can leverage our GraphQL API to get more data if you want to. In this case that's enough because we want to just trigger a revalidation. So let's check if the block has actually updated. If I refresh I can see the post here right away. That's nice. Let's try it again and this time update the post. Good. So now, if we refresh the page, it's updated right away. And also the history should now show our updated post. You can also manually resend the uh, webhook if you want to and if the status failed, so that you can just test it whatever you like. Yeah, with that, you can create your own integrations like I also did for my own personal blog on GitHub which I use to trigger a action that shows my latest post on my GitHub profile right here. So 
it's up to you. The possibilities are endless. We are very keen to find out which integration you will build with our new webhooks possibility. Thanks. Thank you.